The silver trophy is next in, two miles and five furlongs. It's a grade two handicap, and the top one is Forza Juve for Ryan Tamasebi. Sponge Bandit, Ryan Costello, Amiga Millionaire, John Morgan, Beauty Queen, Marty Lino, Lusos, Ben, James Shea, Long Hall, Graham Clutterbuck, and Verbania Project for Ryan Costello. Just the seven runners then for this, and called in, and away they go. And it's going to be Long Hall, I think, who's going to take it up early on, making their way towards the first, pulling for its head with. A Verbania Project second, and then Forza Juve and Sponge Bandit. With the Amiga Millionaire, Lusos Bend, and finally Beauty Queen, the back marker then. So they get to the first of the 17, and they're all safely over it. And a good jump by Amiga Millionaire has seen it jump into the lead. But Long Haul on the inside seems pretty keen to get that lead back as they get to the second. A mistake, and a fall of there. Lusos Bend has gone. A mistake as well by Sponge Bandit. But it, the one that fell was Lusos Bend. Well, that was put off by the mistake that Sponge Bandit made. I don't know, but they get down to the third then, and over that one they go. And Long Haul is the leader, clear by two lengths to Forza Juve, who is in second. Then comes Amiga Millionaire in third, and Beauty Queen fourth, the Bania Project, and Sponge Bandit somewhere adrift of the remainder. But there's a long way to go yet, and Long Haul is in it for the Long Haul, and he's going to try and lead all the way. Leads by Three lengths then to Forza Juve on the outside in second, and then Amiga Millionaire on that one's inside is third. Beauty Queen tucked in behind them fourth, and then a gap of a couple of lengths to Sponge Bandit, who seems to recall from that mistake. Although maybe he hasn't because he just made another one and really had to reach for that one. His stablemate Verbania Project jumped past him, and they get down to the next, and this time it was Long Haul who was down on his nose. So some pretty shoddy jumping by these at the moment, and Long Haul is just about in front, but now being passed by Amiga Millionaire and Forza Juve. Beauty Queen being switched to the outside, and then a gap back to Verbania Project and Sponge Bandit the back two as they take the next, and they all got over that one nicely. Sponge Bandit jumped it particularly well, in fact, but it's Forza Juve. He's probably just about got his head in front then now as they take this one under the big screen. And Amiga Millionaire and Long Haul are now back disputing the lead again as they start this swing left-handed and race away past the second of the big screens and long haul is the leader with beauty queen chasing in second and then falls a uva and amiga millionaire and then a couple of lengths back to sponge bandit and verbania project so long haul has now gone full clear it seems to record from that mistake and gets down to the next and they're all over that one nicely as well with Sponge Bandit making good ground on the inside there now after those early mistakes seems to have really got himself together as they come down to the water jump and over the water they go Beauty Queen was a bit slow Forza Juve jumping past her into third but it's Long Haul who's still the leader by a good four or five lengths to Amiga Millionaire second and they take this ditch Ah, oh, he's gone this time Sponge Bandit so he just looked like he was getting himself back into the race after he made those early mistakes but he Made another one now, Amiga Millionaire's gone as well, so there's another one out. So, more fallers in this than we had in the Grand National. Well, pro rata anyway. And Long Haul is five lengths clear of Forza Juve in second. Beauty Queen is in third and Verbania Project is in four. And that's all we've got left as they take this ditch. And over that one they go, Verbania Project was a little bit slow. And Long Haul well, will be the only one left the way they're going at the moment. But the ones that haven't made the mistakes yet are Forza Juve and Beauty Queen as they get over that one and they've got they've still got another four or five to take and they've still got six furlongs to race as they begin to swing left handed then and it's long haul in front by three lengths to Forza Juve in second who's got a couple of lengths up on Beauty Queen who's got about four on Verbania Project over the 14th they go and at the moment long haul is clear but Forza Juve looks to be going best of all Beauty Queen though starting to close on the outside that one's getting weight from Forza Juve Long Haul's getting weight from everybody and it's Long Haul then getting over the third last but a really good jump there by Forza Juve has seen that one taking up Beauty Queen's now going to come to challenge Long Haul for second as they race down towards the final three fences in there Forza Juve Long Haul and Beauty Queen it's a three-way battle then as they come into the final three furlongs and come down to 
towards the final two fences and Forza Juve is in front giving way to I remember Beauty Queen moves into second long haul is back in third Verbania Project has been pulled up so there's only going to be three finishes it's Forza Juve over the second last in the lead Beauty Queen nearly went on long haul did and there's just two left then as they race down towards the final fence it's Forza Juve comes to it pops over in the lead Beauty Queen over in second it's a furlong run in but Forza Juve looks like he's probably got the class to take this one and Forza Juve is going to race up towards the line and take a race which was far more eventful than the Grand National earlier and Forza Juve takes it it's a commentator's one two Forza Juve the winner Beauty Queen second and Grass third so what a dramatic race there then and just two finishes and Cheltenham upstaging Liverpool on Liverpool's big week and it's probably the best race we've seen so far today that one and Forza Juve takes it right Tamasebi will think so anyway with a good win there by four and three quarter length Beauty Queen second for Martin Leadham and nothing else finished <laughs>